Hi everybody, it's Joy Packard. It's been some time since I've been on here with you. I am just relaxing and waiting for a friend to get her mani-pedi done before we head to town. We're gonna to be heading to the main town of Puerto Morales today to do some shopping. It's about maybe 10 minutes, 10 minute drive from our resort. And so it's been pretty amazing. I don't know where you are in the world today, but man, it is so beautiful today. Um, the beach is way out there, not way out there. You can walk to it or whatever, but this is um, in our back patio right now. And so we are, um, I'm gonna just do the film like this. How's that? So you can get a little bit of water scene. Um, we, we enjoyed um, eating dinner. And if you are at this, this is the resort that we normally come to, but we are actually in the Venta side, which is amazing because um, right here is right outside your room you can see our hammock it's just connected to the um back door hi norma how are you doing and so uh we have been so enjoying like the sun you know those of you who are hi jan how are you those of you who do not get out and get enough vitamin d you know they say that's so good for the soul and that's what i'm doing <laughs> we are i'm here with my best friend and we are um taking a break from everyday routine grind. Uh, I'm taking a break from working. Uh, I wake up every morning and I sit on this little hammock over here and do my meditation. And then I come out here and this is, I'm just gonna share with you guys a view so you can kind of see um, the backyard back here. And, um, hey Jeff, how you doing? I do still sell on Amazon, but I do also sell on uh, Shopify and some of my own websites now and so that's been awesome to do multiple streams of income and so yesterday we just relaxed we did a relaxation day, day where we just sat on the beach and ate good food and went to shows it's just it's just been so awesome and you know for those of you who do not get outside get your vitamin D you need to it just makes you feel so much better and you know, if you're not, you're feeling a little bit gloomy or you're feeling like, you know, you need a little bit of change of pace, all you need to do is step outside. I know some of you are in places of the world where there's snow, but you know, you can still do some sort of something. <laughs> so the new thing now where um, when you come to Mexico, you have to take a COVID test before you go back. So it's interesting, right? They, the, uh, Joe Biden, the president basically where uh, you have to, um, <laughs> Thanks, Jan. My best friend gave me these. Uh, Norma, I need to take you here. We need to just have a little girl's getaway. I want to show you what this looks like. Usually, we are in the buildings like past over here, but they upgraded us to where uh, we are like this. This is this is where we normally stay. Um, as far, I mean, I'm sorry, that's where we normally stay that way. And whenever I first found out, I go, oh, we're usually in building 14. They go, oh, well, you know, the resort is now only on the side of the Ventus side, which is the newer part over here. And so at first I was like, oh, okay. Cause you know, I'm so used to, um, change. I mean, I'm not used to change as far as when we come here. So be open to change, you know, cause look, we just, <laughs> I love this. I, this is where we stayed when it was first in construction. They let my husband and I stay here. And, um, you know, it's so awesome because you're, you're literally like, if you look back over the, this way, right over there, this is what they call right there. They call this the Dolores market where it's got a buffet food court kind of thing where you can come. Anyway, I know that a lot of you have been asking about my retreats and this was one of the places that I was going to take you because when I come, we have these awesome privileges here where you get your own butler. They come and just treat you so right. And, you know, this is such an, I was thinking, it's so quiet here right now because of the way the world is and, you know, the way that things are going as far as international travel. But again, like those of you who are coming in uh, a little bit later on this live, there's a new thing passed now that before you come back to the United States, they give you, make you do a COVID test to show that it's negative. And if it's not negative and you're positive, you have to stay where you are for a couple of weeks. And fortunately, I'm able to do so if that's ever the case. And actually, uh, coming this summer when my son graduates, this is where we're going to live off and on. 
for months at a time. And so it's pretty, it's pretty amazing as far as, you know, when you have something in your head of really what you want, you know, and putting it out there, you know, I've been doing a lot of challenges as far as like personal development. Like I just got through doing the Tony Robbins challenge, the new world, new you challenge. And that was so life changing and, you know, eye opening for me. And, you know, if you are like trying to change your situation, how are you going to change it if you're staying in the same place? You know, you have to change something. Something has got to give. If you are wanting to, you know, be better in with your health or be better with your business and you keep saying it but nothing is changing, you know, action is key. And so this has been on my dream list for years and years. You know, I was telling my husband that, um, you know, one day I want to live on a beach. And what we did was we upgraded our points so that we can stay here. And if you think about it, this resort, like you get um, free food. Well, it's included, it's all inclusive. You have the food included, you have Wi-Fi, which is amazing here. Not all of Mexico has great Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi here is great because a lot of people are working remotely. And so, um, you know, you don't have to pay for your food, you don't pay for your Wi-Fi, you, uh, pretty much, my husband and I were talking, we were evaluating our points and, you know, we can pretty much live here for, you know, so cheap. <laughs> and it's a, it, the people here are amazing. We, we have great food here and all that kind of stuff. Jan, I do not know how, I do, want, how to do something which is really what I want. So basically, you have to start somewhere, right? Square one, you have to say whatever it is that your goal is, like maybe your goal is to earn another $50 a day and whatever it is that you're doing. And so you have to think, what are some of the things that I can do, you know, to earn my $50 a day? And you can write them down and then you can start choosing them. And you know what? Sometimes it takes a lot. It takes, well, not a, sometimes, it, it all the time. It's going to take a change in whatever it is. You know, like we have to pivot. Like if something is not working, if you keep doing something, that is broken or not working, then how is it gonna ever change? And believe me, that change is not always comfortable. You know, like I have been shifting from Amazon to adding Shopify to my multiple streams of income. And is it easy to switch or to do things that are different than what we're used to? It's not. And and so it's like you have to, t I, I've learned how to do this over the years and I teach it and preach it. And that is, you know, take something and go at it every single day, whether it's five minutes or 10 minutes, 30 minutes or an hour. You know, if you are working on something every single day on something that you're wanting to do, something's bound to change. It's kind of like losing weight or, you know, if you're trying to, you know, get in the best shape of your life or do something. And it's like, okay, so I want to lose this many pounds and I want to be fit in that. And are you going to be able to change if you're still doing whatever it is that you're doing? You have to get up. You got to start exercising. You got to, you know, look up the best um, food choices for you that's going to help you. And, and, you know, sometimes some of the food choices that work for other people are not going to work for you. Each of us are our own individual person. You know, all of our, all of our bodies are unique. We're all different in so many different ways. What works for somebody is not going to always work for another person, right? And so some people don't like the beach. They like to go to the snow and some people, you know, like they, it's opposite. So find whatever it is that your passion is, find whatever it is that makes you happy. And you know, for me, <laughs> this makes me happy. It really does. Every time I come, I feel so good. I'm able to get some clarity, you know, like I love being able to sit outside. I love the sun just beaming on my face when I go for my morning walks and you know, like I say, that's not for everybody. Not everybody likes to go to the beach. I know some people that just, they don't like the sand or they don't like it to be too hot. I personally love it. And so what is it that makes you happy? You know, you need to write that down. What are some changes that you have to make? And you know, for 2021, it's so different. Like, you know, we're not able to have as many in-person uh, gatherings, you know, and but some people are. And I mean, do whatever's comfortable for you. You know, some people, may not think it's you know safe to do this or that and we can't judge people for what they do right like some people like i'm here and i know people are probably thinking why are you in mexico you know this and that or whatever well you know it is what i it, I, I i continue to do what i feel is best for me and you need to continue to do what's best for you or start changing the things of how you want some of you on here are saying you know that you want to change or you want to do something different or you want to find a way
way. So whatever it is, like maybe your goal is to like, I want to be able to work at home so that I can stay home with my kids. That was my goal when I first started doing things online. I said, I want to be home for my children. You know, I want to be home whenever, you know, they have like a play at school that I can go to. And so it started with something like that. And then I started doing my research online, how to make money online, you know, and then su suddenly I'm on all, all these lists, as you guys know, as marketers. And then an Amazon course came and I took it and then I've never looked back since. And so it's like it starts with the first step, right? Like you have to start somewhere. <clears throat> you can't just continue to stay in the same place and expect things to change. You know, there's that saying, if you continue to do what you're doing, you're going to continue to get what you're getting. So for you to get the change that you want, you need to make that step right now. And so, you know, today when I go into Porto Morales, I'm going to go look at the place that I was supposed to have my retreat. I have my deposit there, but we, you know, due to COVID, it got changed and all this kind of stuff. But I'm not giving up on it. You know, that's the other thing, too, is like all day long, we can make these goals. And then when it gets a little bit hard and something has, there's like a kink in it or something, and we say, man, that is so hard. I don't know if I want to do that anymore because X, because of this or that. And then we go back to where we were before. And so again, we're not going to make any changes unless we decide to do so and to take that action and to roll with the punches and to, and to pivot. You know, we have to learn how to pivot during this time and, and day. I mean, 2020 was crazy and 2021, you know, has, but you know, you, if you talk to some people like from 2020, some people will tell you that they learned so much during that year, right? I mean, I was able to slow down, you know, and I took care of my grandkids and I, I, I didn't feel the pressure. And I'm not saying like all 2020 was super easy because we all know that it was difficult in many situations. But what has to happen is, you know, we have to kind of train our mind to also look at the good. We also have to look at the good of what is happening in our life and what is happening to us. So um, that's right, Jeff. And so, you know, I, I'm just super happy to be here today. I, I totally needed some sun in my life. And not that we didn't have sun in San Antonio sometimes, but man, it is so beautiful out here. You know, when you go by these beaches and you're able to just really like, you don't have to worry about a lot of different things. So you're able to focus on yourself. And that's what my retreats with joy are going to be about. You know, it's going to be teaching these kind of things and, and it's going to be small intimate groups and I'll take you here. And even like, I wish that I had a group here right now because the resort is only 30% full. I mean, look at this, there's like nobody here. And so if you're willing to take that chance, you know, and to say, okay, I really don't want to travel or whatever, but there's going to be eight to 10 people of you that say, I'll come. And we're going to sit down and we're going to work on your goals and we're going to work on, you know, learning meditation and we're going to look about pushing you and pivoting you and teaching you how to, you know, roll with the punches when times get tough, times get hard and times get tough because, you know, we have to be strong and we have to be willing to adapt to the changes that are happening. Let's see here. Um, Norma, thank you so much. Uh, those of you who don't follow that wonderful lady, you need to. She is a lady full of love. She's got a page called the Love, the Love Flow page, Love Flow Business page. Norma, you can post your page down there in the comments. But you know, it's people like that that you connect with that you're able to just like meet people and put yourself out there and connect with people because you know if we stay in our little bubble and we don't get out and about and we don't meet people and we don't put it there, then you know it's hard to do that. Jan, <clears throat> yes, you know what, oh, Jan, you know what, I struggle with overwhelming as well, I think everybody does, I think what happens is, we get excited about an idea, right, and then we have all of these things happening, and coming, and getting put on our plate, and what happens is, we have so many things, and we get excited, and then suddenly a shiny object comes over here, and that sounds good, and you know, one, one thing that I've learned over the few years is that when we start something, and I think I talk about this so much, those of you who follow me know that our, our mind is filled like with, you know, we have this pie and when we put something there, then it's like it takes up space in our brain. And if we add something else, it continues to do it and so on and so on and so on. And so what happens is it clutters ourselves to where <clears throat> all of a sudden, instead of feeling focused anymore, hi Mary, we feel very cluttered and very overwhelmed. And so what I've learned to do is 
okay, so you write it all down on your in your journal of the things that you want to do, and then you take one and you stick with it until you perfect it, and then you can move on to the next. Because guess what? Those other kinds of ideas and things are going to be there for you. You know, they're going to be there for you when you're done perfecting whatever it is that you're doing you know, the first time and just remember why you were excited about it in the first place. Once, sometimes I buy something online, like for a course, and then I get excited about it and then I start doing it and then I say, man, this is hard because I have to get hosting now and I gotta get autoresponders now or I gotta do this or this or this. And then, you know what I do? I go back and look at the intro video or the sales page of why I bought it to begin with. <laughs> because sometimes we have to be reminded we have to be reminded of why we did something or why we want to do something, right? This is something that has been on my dream for years and years. I told my husband, when our baby graduates, I want to live on a beach or visit the beach frequently. And so, um, let's see here. That's right, Norma. That's, that's so right. And you know, this is something that has been on my dream board for years and years. And guess what? My baby of eight kids is graduating at the end of May. And so I told my husband, I kind of want to come and just live in Mexico for a few months at a time and then go back to Texas and visit the grandkids. So that was a dream of mine, right? <clears throat> and to see it starting to happen right before my very eyes is incredible. And so I know, I know that it can happen but it has to start with the first step. And so if you're overwhelmed, take a step back. This is what I have to do every quarter. I overwhelm myself. And I guess there's so many things that I wanna do. So Jan, take a step back, write down your goals, write down the things that you want to do and see them through and start working on them. You know, I was, re I was on that, on that um, challenge that I was on with um, Tony Robbins and so, Let's see. Yes, Norma, <laughs> we have to have you come here. Let's make this happen. I'm able to bring um, seven people at this resort. We have an incredible um, point system here that my husband and I worked out with them. And we get these awesome black all-inclusive bracelets where people will wait on you hand and foot. <laughs> and so whoever comes with me here for the first couple of times or whatever. We, might, we, we may, you know, expand out to the one back into the main Puerto Reyes, but you know, for now, if we're keeping it small and intimate and you come, I mean, you get to, let me show you some, this is my, I'm staying in, I have this, I gave my best friend the better room, but this is my back room and hers is over here to where, you know, she can sit in any of these chairs and our morning views are like this. And then we just walk out there to the beach. That way, literally, within five minutes or less, three minutes, you're at the beach. And there are people that come and you know, help you and things like that. Anyway, so I, I'm just so excited, you know, because it's been a long, hard road, but I look back and I'm just like, it took step one. And a lot of people, you know, sometimes would say, oh, that's not gonna happen, you know, this and this and this, and gave me all the reasons why something is not gonna happen. So um, I, I think that, you know, whenever you have that happening in your life and whenever you, you know, you get excited about setting down your intentions and your goals and then the negativity starts coming in as far as like, oh, how are you going to do this? You can't do this. You know, this is going to be too hard. That's whenever you have to tell yourself, I'm staying strong and I'm keeping with my goals, you know, and you're going to have that. You're going to have your obstacles and you're going to have your even family tell you, you know, that's, that's going to even being here today, you know, I've had, I had a lot of opposition, which I needed this so badly in my life right now, because it just had so many things going on in my life to where I just needed my space. I needed a space to sit, meditate, all those kind of things. And so anyway, I, uh, we're about to go to town and go shopping and go get some cheaper massages off the resort, which I can teach you how to do that too. And you know, I, <laughs> the other thing that's so important too is you need to ground and you need to go barefoot sometimes. You know, you don't need to always have your shoes on. You, 
you go out there in the sand barefoot and you ground and it's just amazing. You know, I used to be such a shoe person where I felt like I had to always have my shoes on and now I just go barefoot everywhere and I, I just, it feels amazing. Try it sometime, you know? And so, yes, Jam, we need to take that. Take, take you here and, and it's going to be amazing. And so I just wanted to get on here. I, I love whenever I um, have these, you know, I just got through doing a meditation and when, if you're not meditating, you need to start meditating. And uh, you know, there's a lot of people that say, Joy, what does that mean? You know, and see, that's again, a whole new learning curve of just starting, you know, maybe you can just start with downloading an app. So yes the energy of the earth norma it's so amazing and and so you know if you don't know how to meditate you can start by just even downloading some apps and starting with five minutes a day it's hard for me to sit still those of you who know me know that i'm just like an energizer bunny that doesn't know how to sit still until i learned how to so see there's some things that you can learn that you think you can't but it's just a matter of like doing it and you know what i'll leave you with a thought Nobody else can tell you how to, how to live your life and nobody else can do it for you. Nobody's going to tell you what to eat, what to put in your body, whether to get vitamin D, you know, whether to go for a swim, whether to go barefoot, whether to do all of these different things, except for you, you are in control of your own self and your own body. And so no matter what it is that you are trying to do, listen to your own self. You know, don't listen to the outside forces that tell you that you can't do something. I want to share with you, like I say, one more thought. And that is, if people before you have done it, why not you? And that applies to everything, whether it's business, whether it's coming to Mexico, whether it's, you know, starting on a good clean eating diet, or whether it's finding a spouse, whatever it is. And I think that you know, we have to remember that, that no matter what, we are in control and we can do it. You know, again, like if you're selling on Amazon, there's people before you who had to start somewhere. So, you know, if you're beginning on, on your, on your e-commerce journey, start somewhere, whether it's find the people that you want to follow and do what they do. If you want to start learning how to meditate, find people who meditate. You know, there's so many ways, you, you know, there's just, that's a whole video for another day. But whatever it is that you want to do, find people who are doing it. I, I ran into Norma in the time of my life when I needed to learn how to learn about healing and learn about meditation. And she showed up in my life and we met through Facebook just by chatting online. So there's people all around you who are being put in your path, in your way. And it's going to happen if you put it out there and you put it out in the universe and you put it, you know, where you want to get the things done that you want to, it will happen. I promise you things, things will show up in your life. People will start showing up in your life. <laughs> By the way, look at this hammock. <laughs> anyway, my friend's done. So I will let you guys go. I wanted to share those thoughts with you and have an amazing day. Talk to you soon.